Hello. Hello, good evening, I'm Claudia. How are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you? I'm uh, doing very well. There's uh, a here at home uh, today i didn't connect because i made a lot of personal errands and i'm still missing the process but there, there we go I, I i still have time until wednesday but happy to be to stay at home and not being connected to the matrix <laughs> Well, not being connected to the matrix. Mm -hmm. And finally, That's today, rain, but rained. A good, strong rain. A really rain. <laughs> because all these previous days, there were like uh, raindrops, but not a fully rain. And today, rain. And that was good because we can test the roof and we found still some issues, but they are going to be fixed tomorrow. So I hope finally we can have all things complete. Well, that's good. I mean, the fact that as you tell me, you could disconnect from, every, from everything that you could take care of some stuff at home. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are oh, yeah. good things, right? Oh, yes. The, those gives me peace of mind, believe it or not, uh, uh, to complete those things. It's because right now I'm uh, requesting and asking for a warranty that covers my refrigerator. The refrigerator is uh, like making a noise. And um, I paid for extension, extended warranty and one uh, person came. It was sent from, the, from, from this uh, uh, store where I purchased the, the, this item. It came and tested and everything, but the issue is still there. And in his report, he uh, grew that the, the sound is like the, the fan of the, the refrigerator making a, a noise. And in the middle of the night, you just can imagine it sound loud. Um, yeah. So my mother is the one not getting to sleep well. She is not able to, to have a to sleep well, so uh, that is why I urgently request assistance and made me mad that they say that everything is working fine. So I went today again and I explained the situation. So I'm hoping uh, again they send the technicians. If no, I will need to go and, and take advantage of this uh, Defensoria Consumidor. They've been helping me in the past and I'm still waiting, not visiting them because I just want to go step by step and let's see what this store is uh, doing and often because that is why I pay for the extended warranty and they cannot say that it's not covered because you know it's so funny uh, until yesterday I was how can I say this taking off the the grabs like, 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 I'm grabbing staples staples I'm sorry I was taking off the staple of this paper and, and when he's talking about the coverers there is a, a policy that it says that they don't cover things of God <laughs> like storms earthquakes and, and I was laughing a lot and I said what it says there that they don't cover God's God's uh, I don't know how they say God thinks it says the warranty. 
They don't cover That's kind funny. of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, funny. I haven't seen that before in any uh, formal paper. <laughs> Talking about warranties. Yeah, it's kind of funny, right? Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. But, I mean, what can you do? Mm -mm. Wait, just wait, because uh, they say they will send another technician during the week, and let's see what's going on. If not, I will go to Defensoria Consumidor. They've been assisting me in the past with good results, so I'm going to uh, visit them if uh, I don't have an answer. Um, or repair for this store when I purchase the item. Uh, you should, I mean, it's necessary. Yeah. And you cannot, and you cannot be living with that thing giving you problems every oh, single yes. day. I mean. Yes. Yes, because it seems like they want to show this situation like it, like it's my fault and it's not my fault. I cannot do anything to make uh, this uh, fan as a, a failure. But let's see what's happened during the week. Let's hope everything turns out okay for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hope to. Well, it's fine. difficult, you know. That's mm -hmm. difficult when we are talking about insurance. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm waiting. I hope everything is going to be good. Yeah. I mean, be patient because <laughs> yeah, you have to be patient. I have to. I must. <laughs> it's a must because I just need to waste one step at a time. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to to asking for warranty and stuff like that, you know, you gotta be patient. You gotta take your polite. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be polite. That's very important. Mm -hmm. But if they don't, even those I little don't... details, they help. Exactly, exactly. With those little de details, and also, I was thinking if. Uh, before going to, to this other office, to Defensoria Consumidor, I will request to talk with the manager, like people do when we are in the call center. Where is your manager? So I'm going to ask for the manager too. <laughs> Let's use the same strategy. <laughs> yeah, and as I tell you, be patient. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta. I must be patient. Hi, Claudia. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yeah, so far, so good, teacher. Uh, my weekend was really good. It was a productive weekend because I rest three days since Friday. That's cool. Uh, uh, but uh, my boss selects some some person that will be like discretionary day to day. Okay. Because well, they you... will pay the day and we will rest. So that's going to be fine. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, that's right. So I rest today. I rest too. I rested, yep. But then uh, I study uh, some topics and that's it. Uh, this uh, weekend, maybe uh, just I have to complete some tasks about uh, some topics that I have to learn. Hello. Yeah, let's hope. That's right. Let's hope you can. I mean, because sometimes we plan, but you know, time. It's sometimes kind of tricky. Yeah, that's right, and in it's a little bit hard because uh, you know I have a um, other kind of 
lifestyle uh, for the weekends that I usually go to whatever I want. So it's weird, but I know that that's going to be helpful. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's you're right. right. So, that's, so why, that's, yeah. that's the, 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 that's the view from today. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. So, for this weekend, so, was. There's uh, no going out, there was no, no going out. No. Because I, I went to, to shop one t-shirt to my cousin because it was uh, his birthday. So oh, that, that's ooh. it. Yeah. I only spent like 30 minutes at least. Not much time. Yeah. Not much time. So I didn't make an, any any what? Didn't make any, any day, any what? Out of the com, out of the commune, ah, I guess. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, I mean nothing special. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. I mean, some days are pretty routine. Yeah, that's right. But that's God. I'm here. I couldn't regret of anything. I I don't have any regrets. I don't have any regrets. Okay. That's it. I don't have a lot, uh, any anything else to talk about. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I well um about the the games for um, soccer. Yeah, just like that, because it wasn't oh, yeah. okay, but maybe Which one? To, to be honest, uh, well, uh, both, both of them, because uh, for the Champions League, so I always thought that Real Madrid will won, and for the final for the El Salvador tournament, I guess that we need to improve a lot on soccer because, well, I saw the game, but I guess that we have to improve a lot because those players are not really good. Because when we um, play with other countries, they have a better um, performance. But, yeah, formulas, um, the skills. Yeah, well, hmm. it's complex, you know, because there are some good soccer players, but uh, the problem is that, well, from my point of view, is that you can be good, but if the people you got around yourself are not in the same level, it's hard. It's hard, really hard. And that's yeah. why when they play with another country, they look a little bit better because they are in a different level. Yeah, I, and yeah, and also, are, I guess that yeah. will be teacher, they, they have it to eat and they have it to do it. The eating habits. The eating, the habits. eating habits, okay. So yeah. the eating habits for, for those players, I guess that uh, we have to improve a lot because maybe I don't know. Maybe they don't have a a good. I, I guess that conduct. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of factors associated with it. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was watching the second half of the of the game of the European game. Uh huh. I mean, I just was taking glances and well, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'll be blunt. I'm not with any, any of them. I mean, I, I don't uh -huh. have time. I don't have time to follow none and none is my favorite. Uh -huh. But I guess the, the, the one who won, man, it was a miracle. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't do enough to win. Yeah, I mean, that's right. 
That's right. It was by mere chance. Yeah. Uh, they have to to be more competitive. They have to to increase their level. Yeah, because uh, I saw that that the other team uh, was making a lot of. Uh, how do you say who was? Place. Place. Yeah. Okay. The other team make a lot of plays, but couldn't score the goal. Yeah, because oh, amazing goalkeeper. Yeah. Mm, I guess for that, that game he was. That the guys, for that game. I, I guess that, that the guys was. never should a lot. Uh, never should like have to be should a, a goal. So. Yeah, but I mean, uh, uh, both things. I mean, both things are factors. You know, when we start talking about soccer, my gosh, those are a lot of point of views. Yeah, but it was <laughs> interesting. It was interesting. To be honest with you, I'm not with nor against none. Yeah. That's right. Uh, as I well, tell you, I don't I don't have time enough in order to follow them. It's <laughs> not that I don't like the sport, but man, there's no time for me. Yeah, but and you know, this talks and this uh next coming Saturday, I guess, the select uh we will match with I don't know what is the name of that island. And no you know idea. You know, I I'm I'm fan of Selecta, but I know that all the time we're gonna get a, a, a lower performance. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, my son, uh, he roots for them a lot. Uh -huh. Do you understand that expression? Yep. Okay, he roots for them a lot. In my case, again, we come again to the same problem. I mean, I would like to, but I ain't got no time. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I know your your lifestyle is really busy. Yeah, and I know of someone who's gonna start soon in the university who's gonna have the same problem. <laughs> yeah, and could be a problem for me because I like to play soccer, but I, I have to give uh, the, I guess that is prohibited or prohibited. Forbidden. How, how do you say that? Forbidden. Ah, forbidden. Yeah, we have to, to give the forbidden to the, to the class. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But well, you know. Yeah, let's see, let's see. I mean, the time's gonna tell. So, Alfredo, welcome. Thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure to talk with you. Always the pleasure is mine. Okay, guys, before we move on, let me get the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Diaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Estobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Osmín. Thank you, Wilfredo. Juan Carlos Romero okay. López. So... María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. 
Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. En Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, dog. Present. Thank you, Suleima. Ada. Hey, they fix your problem, Ada. Hello. Hello, Ada. How are you? I very tired, teacher. A lot of work. Really? We can. Uh, we can. A lot of work. <laughs> Two days. Saturday. Oh, really? Two surgeries. And Sunday. Surgeries. Surgeries. A long time. It's a. Uh, around the. Five and six hours that they complicate surgery. Oh, yeah, I can tell. I mean, four or five uh, hours is a lot. Reconstruction, no sé cómo se dice. Reconstruction. In this case, it is reconstruction. Yeah. Reconstruction. Um, the vasos. Oh, really? Wow. So it was complex. It's a complication. It's the, uh, the accident for the, the motorcycle. is a man. He uh, had an accident. It's an, an accident for the motorcycle. It's a man the, around the 26 years old. Ooh, a young guy. Yes. Man, I got a picture. Ada, I was checking in the platform. They fix your problem, right? It's a problem. <laughs> No, but it's Continue fixed. The problem. No, Continue I got the problem. Ada, I got the I got it here on my screen that you got section one, two, three, part of section four. Perdón, Ada, yo tengo aquí en mi pantalla de que usted tiene ya trabajado secciones uno, dos, tres y parte de la cuatro. Sí, pero al ver yo mi progreso está abajo. No sé si será porque es mi no sé, ya actualicé la plataforma, ya reinicié el teléfono y siempre me aparece. Ok, let's see it at the end. Let's check it at the end, please. Vamos sí, al final. Sí. Ok. Ok. Well, thank you, Ada. Welcome. Thank you. Let's see. Hmm. Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Hello, teacher. Heidi, tell me. What's up? Today I'm very informal, so tell me. Today you're very? Informal, so that's why I ask you, what's up? What's up? Everything's going great. Okay, that's cool. So, oh, you haven't finished the month yet, right? Yeah, you see, and I came home early. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, because usually these days, I remember last time, it can I be a good time you were, or a bad time, but in this case, it's a good sign. Yeah, I remember you were, you used to be like uh, in the class, but still at the office. No, I'm, I'm already at home. No, no, I am telling you that in the month, the previous month, last time ah, we yeah. were together at the end of the month, I remember that you were having the class and you were still at work. Yes, because I, I was, um, you know, with with the lunch, right? But this yeah. time I went to sign a loan in another branch in Santa Elena mm. near home. Mm. Wow, so you were, you were busy. Yeah, I was busy, but I was really near home. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool, I mean, because you could get home early, enjoy your kids. 
Well, well, I don't know if you enjoy your kids or your kids enjoy you. That's a whole uh -huh. different story. <laughs> well, not really. I yeah. came home. Uh, uh, I have just gotten here, but you know, it oh, can be if it, it was bedtime almost for them. Yeah, and it can be worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be. You're right. Hey, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Hey, Ramon, how are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, my friend? How's everything? Everything, it was okay. Uh, uh, finally, the day is very cold. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it, 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 it was uh, very complicated because it's uh, the end of the month, but not, no, not really. And tell me. What's the week for you? How is it going to be? What do you expect from this week? I expect uh, tomorrow. I is, I I need to uh, to sell uh, for uh, some client. Um, to to get a, a objective, I don't know. To get a, the goal of the men, or oh, among, sorry. Yeah. And then I need to go to the me, uh, mechanic because it, um. My car, my company car is need to to man, know, maintenance. Maintenance? 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? And what did you do as maintenance? Regular maintenance or something special? No, no, no. Uh, regularly, just prevent. Oh, preventive. Okay, preventive. Teacher. Yeah. Yep. Sorry to interrupt. Is the right pronunciation maintenance or is maintenance? Or is different Ma thing? Well, the most correct is maintenance. Without the T. Yeah, without the T. Phonetically, the T after M doesn't have a sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maintenance. Yeah, that's that's the most correct. But a lot of people, mostly, uh, to be honest, mostly uh, Latin speaking people, Spanish speaking people, say maintenance. Okay. So. Well, well, well. Let me just do something. Okay, just a little pause. Uh, thank you very much, Ramon. Thank you, Tisha. Una pequeña, perdón, solo hacer una pequeña pausa. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hmm. Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? I'm fine, you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story as usual. Janina and Linda say hi. 
Oh my <laughs> gosh. So you had a big party. <laughs> no. <laughs> no teacher. I saw uh, yesterday uh, at noon and I stay with, uh, with Roxana. Oh my gosh. Oops, I guess Mariana had a problem. Well, well, well. Marcos, hello, Marcos, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, fine, fine. Just, it was a relaxed day um, with a little trouble in the morning. Uh, at the end, by the early in the afternoon, I could resolve this uh, problem that I had. And in the weekend, um, I did my test driver and I passed it or approved it. Oh, and really? Congrats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. It, it was uh, kind of funny because um, I, I went to that place um, like 8 a.m. and and it was supposed to be uh, supposed to they uh, will rent me a car, a pickup, because oh, really? I wanted to I wanted to get the Liviano category. Yeah. Uh, and the tones of uh, of the car should be one point five. Um the last Saturday that I went to ask about information, they told me that if I realize that a test in my in the car that we have, <clears throat> I just can I just can obtain the particular license oh. because you, my my car is um 0 0.8 tons but mm. at the end they uh, they haven't they hadn't the car available for for uh, uh, making the for doing that that test and they rent me another car that it was um Kia Picanto is not one one point five tons <laughs> at all, and because they they told me that the pickup was in, in the mechanic. Mm, well, what a co coincidence! So at the end, I did my test driving in that car, and but by, uh, at the end, I I can I could pass it, and yeah, I I happy for that because. Uh, I was looking for obtaining my license driver and the category uh, is better because particular, I don't know, I think reframe me kind, uh, reframe me a little bit to try another kind of vehicles. <clears throat> so that, that was funny. Because I pay 15 years just for one trip, for one, um, yeah, a little vuelta. Current? Oh, well, trip. Yeah, trip. Okay. So at the end, I finally can obtain, no, no, obtain my, my license because I need to go to the BMT and do another test that is just psychologic proof and the theory test that they are easy. I think the most important thing was the practice, the practical test. Yes. 
So mm -hmm. yeah, this weekend, um, also I, I could rest and have fun with my family and enjoy the weather too. Was, uh, grateful to me. Okay, well, that's nice. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Give me just a second. Just a second, guys. Right? Okay. Let's see, Roxana, hello. How are you? Hi, good evening. Well, I just found today was a interesting day because I have some weird cases and we need to work this week on that. And Week about weekend, well, Saturday, I spent time with my mother and my son after working until 8, 8 p.m., I guess. Yeah. And then resting. And Sunday, I woke up around 10 a.m. because I, I was uh, watching some series in, Netflix Saturday at night and Sunday uh, I woke up late and then we having lunch with Janira and Abelinda. Yeah. yeah, Maria Alejandra was telling me that she was very calm and quiet and that you were a bad, bad influence for her. Not really, it's not interesting because I don't remember what, when was the last time that we were uh, in a meeting and we spent around five hours talking about yeah. everything. Last time I remember it was at, at the party, that you were in the party at <laughs> night, I remember. No. Oh, you had I, another one? I, I, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no. When you uh, talking about the party, I remember that it, it was a Friday, right? Yep. But it was a really coincidence because we are not together. Mm. Oh, yeah, because you're in a different department, right? Uh -huh. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Maria Alejandra was in a party. <laughs> Well, yeah, because she told me, I barely remember the night, she told me. <laughs> okay. She told me after 8 p.m., everything is blurry. <laughs> okay. No. I don't know why. I don't know why. I guess she forgot her glasses. That's why. <laughs> I remember because uh, this night, uh, it started to... Uh, Estado de emergencia and all the places closed and give me um, only a stay uh, maybe two hours or like this. And Roxana sent me a message that. that Saturday, I guess. Saturday at night. Ah, Saturday, yes. But teacher was talking about the Friday. Ah, but yeah, I was talking about that. Uh -huh. I, I was talking that. about a Friday, yeah. Man, you are such a bunch of party girls. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. No comments. 
Hey, Roxana, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Talking about parties. Ileana, hello, Ileana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? You were telling me the other day about a wedding. No. Yeah, another friend of yours is getting married, right? Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna go to the party? Uh, yeah, but the party it's not this month or oh. this weekend. Yeah, it's on July. June, so July. Again, to, to start looking for a dress and stuff. Yeah, again. Fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> I don't well, know, you know, girls, uh, I mean, some girls, some girls, let's not use it in general. Some girls stress so much about looking for a dress and suppose yeah. this and some others, they say that they enjoy doing that. I what is your case? Do you stress or do you enjoy it or both? I enjoy, but when, when at, at first I enjoy, but if if I feel like I don't I don't find the dress that I want, I get stressed. So at first I enjoyed, and you know if I find the dress uh, with with time, I enjoy the whole process. But for example, if the wedding, uh, I don't know how to say it, teacher in future. Um, if the wedding is what going said, to be, it's going to be, for example, the next weekend, and ah, I, ah, I, ah. yeah, if the if the wedding if the wedding were next weekend, if the okay, thank you. If the wedding second were conditional, yes, yeah, I forgot. If the wedding the wedding were next weekend, for example, I would. I would, I would get stressed if I didn't have the dress yet. Perfectly said. Yay. That's quite perfect. If the wedding were next weekend, I will get stressed if I didn't have the dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice game with the conditionals. Excellent. Hey. But yeah, in that case, I get stressed. But that's the reason uh, why I started to look for the dress with 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 a lot of time, with anticipation, you know. Enough time. Enough with time. Enough time. With yeah. Time. Because I really like to enjoy the process. Well, that's nice. Love to hear it. Yep. Yeah, but um, I, I don't know. Looking for dresses with you ladies is, is stressful for some of us guys. Yeah, my brother. Because you, hmm? no, but I mean, brothers, brothers, they can say whatever. The problem is when, when we go as, as spouses or as partners and you make those horrible, hideous questions like, how does it look on me? Man, that's one of the most horrible questions you can ask a man. Why? Because if we say, it looks nice, it's like, nope, don't like it. If we say, it doesn't look nice, we are dead. So <laughs> that's a situation I try to run as far away and as fast as possible. Well, like like you said, not in general, all the men get stressed with that situations. Maybe mm. some guys, but not all the guys. Yeah, but uh, in my case, I don't get stressed. I just look for somewhere to sit and wait. As simple as that, because I know that it takes long. <laughs> You're mentally prepared. Yeah. yeah. I've, been, I've been in those situations for more than 20 years, so I'm, 
quite used to. <laughs> yeah. You know, but still, once in a while, it gets on my nerves. Believe me. <laughs> but Eliana, yeah. a pleasure to have you here. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. So let's see. Well, I haven't talked to many guys. Danny, hello, Danny. How are you? Hello, to hear. Good evening. Good evening. I'm How's fine. everything? Hi, everything is fine. Um, just starting what the you week. What you been up to? Um, could you repeat? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Let me text. I ask you what you've been up to. Okay. What I asked I was it. this. Look, look. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna text it. Oh, okay. Okay. This is quite quite informal. The proper okay. question should have been like this. This should have been the proper question. What have you been up to? Oh, okay. But I just okay. ask yeah. you what you've been up to. I okay. mean, like, uh, ¿Qué haciendo? ¿Qué estado haciendo? Yeah, it's uh, quite informal. What you've been up to? Okay. And you okay. can tell me, okay. well, not much, or you can tell me, well, working a lot, depending on your situation. Okay, okay, we got it. Thank you. It's new for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of, that's kind of streetwise speaking. Yeah, yeah. Um, when, when I try to understand music like hip hop or something like that. It, oh, that, that's a whole that... different story. Different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think they, they, they're talking another language. <laughs> yeah, you gotta deceive for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the problem is that uh, the way in which they rhyme and the way in which they use the vocabulary and the, the meaning implicit in some expressions is kind of complex. They, I think they, they are short too much, the word. Not only that, the other situation is that there are some expressions that they get a meaning according to a certain context. Mm. <laughs> and that's, uh, I mean, that's different. It's like, mm. uh, it's like talking to, I mean, how old are you then? Uh, 31. 31, okay. If you listen to to two guys on the ages of 15, but we are talking like uh, streetwise guys oh, okay. speaking among themselves. <laughs> I assure you that they are speaking in Spanish and you don't get half of what they say. And yeah. it's the same. It, it's exactly okay. the same situation. Okay. Believe me, I have a couple of friends that they speak like that. And at the beginning when they were speaking, I was like, what the? <laughs> Yeah, just watching and I was like listening and like man I speak English but not that English yeah just a couple of words you can understand yeah. but yeah, but yeah then you know, nothing. once once I was talking to a friend and uh, he's an American fellow and we, I was visiting them visiting them and and his wife was on the phone and she was speaking. Okay. And supposedly she was speaking English. <laughs> and I asked her husband, what is she saying? And he, he started laughing and telling me, man, I don't understand her. She speaks three languages, English and Spanish and Kentuckian. She was from Kentucky. But when she okay. was talking with her relatives, he, he used to tell me, man, I never understand when they start speaking like that. I mean, he was from a different state, a different type of speech. So it was, it's funny, it's funny, but it happens <laughs> a lot. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard about that. Um, 
Have you ever heard the redneck? Yeah, well, <laughs> her her relatives were from Kentucky and they were not from the city. They were from mm -hmm. the hills. I mean, yeah. theirs was theirs was hillbill speaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. that's that's different, completely. Yeah, <laughs> the cowboys. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, uh, if you are speaking, uh, I mean, you can understand British English, mm -hmm. but for me, I mean, I used to understand British English. I used to speak with some British people, but the first time that I started listening to Cockney, Cockney accent, I was at a loss. I couldn't understand nothing, <laughs> nothing yeah. at all. And up to now, I mean, even now, when I, whenever I can, I start listening to Cockney, I can recognize it. I know that they are speaking in English. I know it's Cagney, but I don't get it. I mean, it's different. This is the British. Yeah, but it's it's a special accent. In some some parts of England, they speak like that, okay. and they call it Cagney, Cagney accent. Cagney. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, I think it, that is the same situation with the Spanish. Um, oh. Castellano, <laughs> and not just that. I mean, the, according to the country, they we change the the way in which you, we speak it, the the rhythm pattern, the the some of the words, the way we apply those words, what they mean to each of us is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very complex. It, it could be just one uh, language, but. <laughs> As you say, oh, it, it depends on the country. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Thank you. Nice talking <laughs> to you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. There's Francisco. Hello, Francisco. How are you? Whoa. The teacher and here and him, sorry. To oh, miss. that's cool. That's cool. Hello, Mister. How are you? How's everything? Um, not uh, not well, teacher, because uh, I uh, running uh, a flu. Really? But, uh, a flu? Right, teacher. That's bad. But, right. <laughs> I think is for uh. Uh, in my work, uh, the the last Saturday, uh, I, I cleaning uh, equipment, and the, there uh, I think is for the um, how do you say polvo tissue? I don't Dust. remember. Dust, dust. dust. I think it's, it's for the for the dust. Yeah, most probably. Yes, and it's, it's probably sure. And it's uncomfortable. To be like that is uncomfortable. Right, sure. The, yeah. I, I, the 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 good part uh, uh, in this moment, I don't uh, not putting a, a fever, but the oh, okay. how, uh, um. Uh, how do you say stornudo, teacher? Sneeze. Sneeze. Okay. Sneeze. 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 Oh, really? Yeah, it's quite uncomfortable. And on top of that, I mean, the flu for us guys is is stronger than for ladies, right? <laughs> it's, better, it's, it's true, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> the flu for us is... With you. Is terrible. Yes. For ladies, it's like not that bad. It's a, it's a, it's a different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I was the only one. <laughs> no, 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 I man. I You're not the only one. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. I know I, I can take a poll right here, and everybody's going to agree that the flu is stronger for us guys than yeah. for ladies. Yeah. And, <laughs> you see? and women don't believe us <laughs> yeah no that thing is horrible we almost die every time we got the flu yeah 
Yeah, it's true. <laughs> well, Francisco, let's hope you get better soon, my friend. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Welcome. So, Suleyma, hello. Let's see. Well, apparently Suleyma is not available. Well, guys, let's start with the other part of the class. Today, I told you last week that tonight was going to be mostly speaking, conversation, okay? So let's see, oh my gosh. First two questions, beautiful. You can look at them in the, the chat. Okay, the first question, what is prejudice? What is prejudice? Why does prejudice exist? We are going to discuss this, those two questions. From your point of view, guys, what is prejudice and why does prejudice exist? Now, usually what we do is that we just talk and then we share. Now you're going to talk, you're going to, to get a, a consensus among the group and I want one concrete idea from the group on written, okay? I want an image in the group or I want it texted in the group. One per group, it's okay. You're going to be working in small groups, three members. Oh, that's gonna be one of four, let me check. Okay, groups are open, please jump in. Well, let's see Luis Maria Alejandra and Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos is on his way home. Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hello, okay. I'm gonna send you to another group, my dear. Okay. Let's see. Who do I send you to? Where do I send you to? Oh, I know. This is the perfect group for you. See, Juan Carlos, I'm going to send you to another one so you can at least listen to your classmates. Mr. Luis Orellana, can you listen to me? Oh, well, Luis, I was checking your platform. You finished your way, so we are done with this. Perfect. I'll send you to a group so you can at least listen. Please. Irene, Irene. Heidi thinks that prejudice is a damage. Damage. Uh, Marcos thinks that is. Uh, 
like mm. the, like um the pin you have of someone just with the yeah just for the Le appearance right Le uh, yeah label someone just for the appearance of the other person or the characteristics or person or a group of person okay so yeah, like if somebody is good looking, we pay attention to the person. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Um, what about this situation when these um, pages of the, the cops uh, post an image of a criminal, Hanson, and the uh, and the, some girls had uh, this so-called so -called syndrome, and they said that oh, that guy, that guy is not guilty at all because he is handsome. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Okay, we have to discuss two questions, right? Yep. Um, the first one is. What is a prejudice? We were right. Yeah. The pronunciation? Prejudice. 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 Well, I guess that way prejudice something maybe when we only have one idea but we don't really know the significance uh, to an action or something like that, maybe. And to be a cirujano, surgeon. Surgeon, surgeon. Very frequently, uh, pre pre prejudice. 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 Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, like a surgeon for me must be a man. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes. <laughs> mm, that could happen. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are some people like they say, you know, it's like a, I, I got a co worker. I mean, she she's a lady like 60 years old. She, if a young doctor, is going to attend her, she doesn't accept it. For her, it must be an old doctor all the time. Yes, yes. She doesn't like young doctors because on her words, they don't know nothing. That's a prejudice. Mm -hmm. okay. Like uh, in my case, like uh, the dentist, I prefer, I always prefer, in my case, a dentist to be a lady. Do you prefer a yep. dentist? Why is that? Because I'm a crying baby <laughs> when it comes to the dentist. That's oh why. But it plays like this. Look, it plays like this. It's a prejudice because subconsciously, I think that because it's a woman, it's going to be more tender. Mm. Mm. But in my case, you for see? example, the how can I say gynecolo? gynecologist? Gynecologist. Gynecologist. I think in my case, I feel comfortable with a woman. It's not because I don't like men. It's because I think a woman can understand when I say, you know, I have a pain like here, here, here. And a man won't be able to understand the type of pain I will be talking about. Yeah, it's like when we guys got the flu, you see, as we were talking <laughs> with the guys. But uh, you, I, you yeah, don't I, understand yeah. how terrible it is. I, I translate yeah. that as an empathy in my case, not, not prejudice. <laughs> this is not a prejudice. No, it's, that's is, the truth. Yeah, that is the complete yeah. truth. 
right, Ada? Yeah. <laughs> yes, teacher. It's almost yeah, written it's in the Bible. Is it, is it, is it yes. in the colors, ladies prefer women, but men are more subtle and delicate. Yes, teacher. Mm. In the menu. Interesting. Yes. As, gy as gynecologist, you think that the man is more subtle and delicate? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. That's quite interesting. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I, I, better, I better shut my mouth. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> So mean. <laughs>, what you doing here? Hi, teacher. Well, my cell phone turned off and I lost my group. Okay, I'm gonna bring everybody back, but I need to know who were your group so you I can you can stay with them in the next activity. Who I don't remember you? Uh, remember Suleima, I got Suleima, Ramon, Jose Wilfredo, Fernando. I just
Okay, let's see. What is a prejudice? Heidi, on your opinion, what is a prejudice? Hi there, hello. Hello. Oh, there you um, go. Teacher, we were discussing that um, prejudice is a kind of injury or damage because resulting from many judgment or action or disagreement with someone else. And, and why does it exist? Uh, for us, it, it exists because of missing of knowledge. Sometimes. Ignorance. Ignorance, exactly. Okay, interesting. Very interesting, guys. Let's see. According to the, I mean, the definition will be there is a preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. Okay. Uh, it can also be harm or injury, this is from the law point of view, that results or may result from some action or gesture. But in this case, uh, mostly we understand that it's a preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience, which is kind of interesting because now, uh, let's see, second, Thank you, Danny. Danny just sent me the, 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 the concept, but you were supposed to be doing this, to write it down and send it to me so I can check it. Remember, I asked you to write down an idea so you can send it to me and I can check it. So Danny, would you mind opening your microphone, please? Yeah, okay. An assumption or opinion about someone simply based on that person's membership to a particular group. Hmm. Interesting. And you yeah. say that it exists. Would you mind reading it, please? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, because of demography, uh, different ways of thinking, for believing that someone are better than other, or simply uh, for ignorance, as uh, Heidi said, um, that we think that uh, prejudice exists. Okay, thank you. Would you mind sharing what you sent me to me in the group, please? Okay. You are so very kind. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right now. Okay, guys, well, I got next one. Let's see. Today we are going to get into some kind of tricky, tricky concepts. What do you think? Do gender issues affect the development of a country? Do you think it can affect any country, our country? And if you think it is necessary to discuss issues about gender, why do you think we need to? Why do you think it is necessary in the actual society? Oh, thank you, Ana Claudia. Just love you for that fact. Thank you for reminding me. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza, attendance, please. Present teacher. Thank you. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancilla. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, sorry. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you, Francisco. Heidi Eugenia Sallero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Susmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sol. Present teacher. 
Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ay. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Presente. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Presente. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Zuleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Okay, guys, so the gender issues affect the development of a country. Why do you think we need to discuss issues about gender? Nowadays, that's a big, big discussion. Do you think it is necessary to, to, to discuss it? Thank you, Marcus. So guys, again, you got to discuss, you got to write down at least a couple of lines. I need to see it. You will have eight minutes for this activity. Let's jump in. TV programs or uh, internet, <laughs> internet are sharing something about that, and you need to um, have an open mind about that. And I to think be open minded. Want... to be open minded, to be open minded. And we don't mind it, mind it. I'm sorry. Mind and we don't. Oh, here is the teacher. Let's ask him. Teacher. Yeah, it wasn't me. I wasn't even there. <laughs> no, we, uh, I was wondering uh, when you talk about gender, you're talking about female and male or. or... Female, male, male, female, the whole alphabet nowadays. Do you think it's important? Do you think it affects a country? It depends on the country because, uh, for example, mm. you know, for example, America is, a, you know, they're open minds. Uh, maybe we don't have that, that um, madurez. Maturity? Maturity, exactly. Yeah, you know, I was I was uh, looking for for that. Uh, I mean, researching. Whenever I bring a, a topic like this to discuss, I always try to do a little research about the same topic in order to to be able to to give a little input into the class. I was I was listening to a very interesting concept that uh, I mean it's. It's good to recognize the, the, the differences and it's good to accept the differences. But one of the, of the positions that I was listening to today, it's about that we must be aware while, while recognizing the differences and accepting the difference, not to make them into, into too many little groups not to encompass them into too many little groups because then what we create is more division. I mean, uh, the position was that we must, we must try to do something that is pretty hard. That is the, to get the equilibrium between recognition and integration mm -hmm. of that recognition we do. Otherwise, 
we start again with the problem of the same discrimination. And then when we've got too many groups and we separate them too much, the discrimination is not just from the group, big group to the small ones. It's also between the small ones among each other. Uh, as I told you, it was just a position. For me, it was kind of interesting. Sure. And you said that here in, in, in our country is, is different. Sort of in a way. Why do you think it's different? No, no, no. I understood according to what you told me, it's different here because of the of the level of perhaps I wouldn't say, I mean I understand your point of view, but in my case I wouldn't say maturity. It's a little bit of ignorance and not maturity as human beings, maturity as, as a culture. And when I mean culture, I mean as a whole, as a whole community, as a whole nation. And we need to include their values, we need to include their education. Man, so many aspects, right? Right, yeah. Man, I mean, it's good when they when I hear that we empower, we need to empower everybody to speak by themselves. Uh, another point of view that I was listening, you know, that I was kind of interested. Well, no, I'm not gonna say it, man. It's just me talking. You guys are supposed to be talking. I'm gonna come out of here. Yeah, I get it too excited. Okay. Yeah, let you be, I let you be. Let me get out of here. I totally disagree with you, uh, Ana Claudia. I don't know uh -huh. what you said, but I'm totally. Come on. I, we are trying to discuss this one. We think the, the first part of the, the, the first answer of this is yes, it does. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, but, the second one? Mm, we are talking about that and we are trying to find... Uh, we think uh, men, as Danny said, men, they have better opportunities, they are better paid. There is no fairness between both genders. Because fairness when we between, uh -huh, okay, we you, want, you want equality or you want uh, full integration? I think we're talking about integration, right, Danny? Yeah, because if we are talking yeah. about the quality, I mean, that would be that we move, we should need to, to, to separate, like, uh, I mean, to divide exactly 50-50 any single profession and, and to set a, a pay scale for every profession the same. But, I mean... In that case, we are not talking about uh, just abilities. I mean, we said uh, a pay scale is for engineers is going to be this, mm -hmm. male or female. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. You agree with that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, right. Okay. But that would mean that I need, uh, if I have a thousand positions, 500 men, 500 women, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I need this. I need to do the same with masons, with electricians, with plumbers, with mm -hmm. all the areas of society. That would mm -hmm. be equality. Equality. That would be the word. That would be the word if we want yeah. equality. equality. I mean, in any single professions, we need more women drivers. We need more uh, police women, firefighters. I mean, in all professions. Because that's something that we have forgotten that there are certain professions or certain uh, jobs that are mostly uh, set aside just for men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if we want equality, I mean, we need to give them. There are certain professions that we have left more for women. Mm -hmm. 
And but also Ada, Ada mentioned something very important that, that the kids had the education when we are child because, but as an example, uh, sometimes uh, parents say, no, this toy is for women. No, this is for boys. Uh -huh. What, what yeah. happened if a boy played with a doll? Oh, but that's a whole different story. We're talking then there, uh, uh, the selection of gender. Mm. That's the selection no. of gender. That would be that would be on the other side in integration. Mm. That would so be in this integration. Case, uh, we can say that because there is no equality between. No, no, no. I, I was I was telling you that that we have both situations. Mm -hmm. And which one are you going to focus on integration or inequality? Uh, what you say, if what Anna says that uh, we'll we set aside these activities are for guys, these are for girls, this is mm -hmm. just for men. I mean, that's a, that's selection, I mean, choosing. Uh, mm, complex again. Mm. Yeah, Very complex again. Yeah, because I, I mean, point, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am not, uh, I am not for nor against, but I was, uh, I was listening to some interesting position the other day. I mean, for me, it's okay, whatever you choose to be. Mm -hmm. For me, it's okay, whatever you have to be. I mean, it's okay, it's your mm -hmm. thing. I mean, but uh, it doesn't mean that this, the point of view was this, if I don't feel attracted to it doesn't it doesn't mean that i reject it mm -hmm. but but from for certain groups they make it seem like that like if i don't support it because i don't like it it's not my thing i'm against it mm -hmm. i mean and it's simply that not my thing i don't care for it i mean as simple as that so it's kind of complex, you know, the other day I was yeah. reading on a book, a position where it says that uh, we must be aware and uh, we must beware of a situation when we give, when we empower so much a few group of individuals that will let them take the decisions for, for the majority. Because when we do that, we stop living in a democracy. And we start living on tyranny. My God. And what are you thinking? You gotta think about it. Teacher, are you a sociologist? <laughs> He's a sociologist. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. No, but uh, for me, that's a beautiful point of view to discuss. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, we are just giving and giving and giving and giving, mm -hmm. but we are letting the the smaller the sm the smallest quantity of the population decide what is best for the majority. For the majority, mm -hmm. and that's not democracy per se, mm -hmm. because democracy is what the majority decides for their on their best interest. But if we you let the, the minorities decide, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. That's tyranny. That's yeah. a point of view. Just a point of view. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, there, are, there, has, there has to be a town meeting or something like that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's complex. It's pretty complex. But another point of view was this. I mean, you can live your life as, as you want. It's okay. What I don't want is you coming to my kids and teaching my kids that the correct way of choosing or living or believing in is what you think. Yeah. Let me decide for my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, complex, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Quite complex. I mean, that discussion is a non-ending one. No. 
<laughs> no. It's, but it's, it's fun, a loop. right? <laughs> it's a loop. Um, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, no, and, and what you say, yes, of course, we need to work a lot. I mean, there's need to be a quality on pay scale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we quality also need what you say? On, on the pay scale. Mm. I mean, everybody needs to earn the same. Yes. But then we come to the to the situation of what about abilities, preparation? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what? Uh, I I can charge you for a, I mean, I can charge an hour of my time teaching you personalized class. I will charge you what? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a, a quantity. I, I cannot. I cannot have that recorded. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> oh. I cannot. I mean, it's it's not it's not correct. But that's what I charge. Uh, but I don't charge that to everyone mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I I have some students that I mean I understand the situation and I I think I can do it for less. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm my that's a decision that i make on my own that's part of my because choosing. that is your way of thinking yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i mean uh, work your work yeah i mean but that's how uh, how do we call this uh, hold on i know this word in, uh, in english i know Free will. Free will. Free will. Free will. Yeah, free, will. free will is. <laughs> no, no free, will. free will. This is a one yeah. word? Libre no. Free free to... will, like ah, the auxiliary okay. for the future. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. I'm gone. I get too excited talking about this. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hmm. beautiful question, right? Let's see, Eliana, where are you? I'm here, teacher. Okay, why do you think we need to discuss issues about gender? Mm. Well, we were discussing that in the group that, uh, well, Marcus told us a very important think that sometimes uh, if we are very influenced about the the way that we we been raised in home and and at home, at home and how sometimes just because uh, it's a girl maybe uh, it's this thing about just a girl maybe could be a wife or just the girl have to take care of the kids and a boy or the man needs to to work and and also related to that so uh, in 
basic, basically, uh, we were uh, we were just saying that that maybe it's very important because the next generations needs to know that 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 uh, exists right now nowadays exists an equality not in the maybe in, in some countries the this thing about gender equality is are, are not uh, maybe so present I don't know how to say it or, or maybe not too um, I don't know how to say it, teacher um, como no tan desarrollado. Developed. Uh -huh. So developed and in, in, and in some countries, uh, yes, like first, uh, for example, big countries like maybe United States, you know, and we were just dis mm. discussing the, the few minutes that we had uh, that this, this thing about gender is very complex nowadays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you say about the activities that a, a girl performs, a boy performs, but you know something funny? Uh, I work in the countryside and where I work, I mean, it's, it's pretty in the countryside. And every day when I pass by, I'm, I watch people that go to the, to the meal, Manal Molino, in order to, to get the tortillas. Uh, would you believe it that uh, around 70% of the people who do that are men? Tortillas. The ones who go to the meal, los que van al molino, mm, mm, mm. are men. And you see, and, I don't, and I'm not talking about just little boys. I'm talking about men. Some parents uh, for the community, they... They're carrying the, the little little thing just right here and they go like quite normal. So it's it's interesting how the, the, the culture is changing. Yeah, of course, we need to work a lot in so many different things, but it just starts, it's starting and it's quite interesting. I mean, social changes, they take around the team in order to be really, really involved in a society. Uh, according to studies, they take up to from 20 to 30 years because it needs to pass at least one generation in order to see a social change yeah. really happen on a society. Very interesting your answer. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's listen to uh, 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 Fernando. What you got for me? Why do you think we need to discuss issues about gender? Uh, I think that it's necessary, teacher, because in certain way we have improved. It's we have improved in this problem compared with the past, but it can be better overall because nowadays exists, uh, like you say, the alphabet, the the whole alphabet in gender. So we had to discuss about and bring the opportunity for all, no matter the gender. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, on a, on a ideal society, well, that's my point of view. On, my, on an ideal society, that from my point of view, it wouldn't be necessary, the whole alphabet, because everybody will be seen as equal. But that's yeah. utopia, you know? Do you remember that term? Utopia. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Thank you, Fernando. Nice talking to you. Okay, guys, today we went pretty deep into the topic, right? And we have not finished because I want you to think and I want you to discuss and you're doing pretty well, actually. I have, I'm seeing some of your answers that the ones that you're sharing with me that are pretty nice. Please, if you're sharing the answer with me, share it directly in the group so everybody can, can check it out. Okay. Now, I had a question. No, I cannot ask this one. Okay. We better jump to the next topic. 
Okay, now. I got a bunch of questions. You don't need to ask them all, but you need to ask some of them to to, 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 to your classmates in the group. Now we are going to talk about privacy, okay? Uh, what is privacy? How do you maintain your privacy at home, at school, on the internet, when using Facebook, when you travel, when talking on the phone? How do you do it? That's what you're going to be discussing in the group, my gosh, my bad guys, I'm just sending it to somebody, okay? There's the questions. What is privacy? How do you maintain your privacy at home, at school, on the internet, when using Facebook, when you travel, when talking on the phone? How do you keep your privacy, okay? How do you keep what's, what you think is private, private from everybody? Okay, you are going to jump into the groups right now. You will have five minutes for this. Hurry up, please. In my, for example, my Facebook and Instagram uh, is only for my friends and other people that don't have a common friends. Uh, the Facebook or Instagram don't allow to follow me or try to add me. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And I think that is good for me. And 
and I only see all the um, the histories or that in the feed a different post, but maybe I don't like to. Solo me gusta ver el mundo arder, pero no publicar nada. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer only C because I, I, is, I don't know. I prefer that uh, when the, a different person to uh, know a lot of, of you, I try to, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to have the capability to share the information with those whom we want to share. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. How, how do you maintain your privacy at home? Mm -hmm. close, close the door. Hello, Jesper. Hello, Jesper. Uh, okay, now in my case, I close the door is, a, is a, a way to say, but I don't allow and some people to to um, end at my home <laughs> because you know I, I generally only my family uh, have access to my home and other people I only I only attend on the door for example because uh, in in that topic uh, my wife and I are are very um, careful, delicate, careful. Uh, delicate, careful, delicate because ¿Por qué estoy aquí? Ah, okay. The system kick you out. Okay. Oh, come on. You, oh, you thought you were just with me and you didn't want to be with me. Ah. Because <laughs> yeah. Wilfredo was talking with me. So I left alone. Well, Pero so Wilfredo is right here next with you. Yeah. The system kicks you out. I have set it, well, actually I have set it, the platform for you to, to bring you to the groups directly. Okay. When I open but, the group, everybody uh -huh. jumps in automatically. Okay. And it takes out some of you automatically. I don't know why, sometimes it's the sign up. Oh, okay, I get it. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have time? Yeah, we do have time. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Ana Claudia, you got 60 seconds to answer to me. My goodness. What yeah. do you think is privacy? Uh, and, we would, and what are some of the things you do in order to keep your privacy? Uh, privacy is your own space. Uh, things that I do is I no longer post pictures of mine or my relatives on Facebook. And when I find memories that the uh, that social media shows me, I take advantage to delete them. I When I travel, I just use my phone talking on the phone and um, trying to make it not too loud. We were discussing that with with the, with the Ada. And not me. too loudly. Not too loud with Ada and Danny. Uh, we were discussing okay. that. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I'm sorry guys, but it's because I need to ask you the next questions. What are some reasons why privacy is important for you? 
and to what extent do, pub, do public officials have a right to privacy? Interesting, right? We always like privacy, we all do. You're going to tell me why some of the reasons you like it. But to what extent do public officials, publicly elected officials, uh, have a right to privacy? If they do, tell me guys. Hello. Teacher, I almost don't get that second question. To what extent do public officials have a right to privacy? Yeah, the president, the, the ministers. Ah, I get it. Get it now. For me, this first one is, is all about safety, our own safety. You never know. Uh, information is a very a value. Mm -hmm. and you know, yeah, it is. It is for good or for bad. So, information is power. It's yes. power. So, for our own safety, we have to make sure it gets to the right hands, right? And that's why I don't use social media. <laughs> you don't have social media, teacher? I just use WhatsApp, and in my whole life. Just once a status appeared and it and it wasn't me who posted it. I used to have I used to have like Facebook, like I used to have two different accounts. I used to have a personal, I used to have a personal one and one that was asked from me from one of the institutions I was working for. <laughs> It was like like institutional. It was my profile, but uh, it was linked to the email from there. And I had a lot of people, like a thousand people there. But no more bad experiences taught me. I learned the hard way. Oh, really? I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah, I learned the hard way. So, I mean, for my better stability, I don't use it. And to be honest with you, I became even more productive. Because I don't waste that much time. Mm. Yeah, social media is a problem. <laughs> it can be, it can be. Yeah, sometimes I mean, it it's depends, a problem. It depends on how much time do you, like, do you dedicate to it and how much do you let it get a hold of you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Diana says that she doesn't close her three accounts in Facebook, two in Twitter, two in Instagram. Oh my God! Yeah, I have all that social media. Yeah, I remember. I was. I used to have all those. Let's say Instagram, uh, Telegram, WhatsApp. Facebook, as I told you, two different accounts. What else? Yeah, Snapchat, many things. I never Facebook. had a Snapchat. I am that old. I am that old. Again. Thank you for reminding me. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs>
Ain't it just you and him? Did you came of your own accord or did the system kick you out? I think the system kicked me out. It wasn't happening. Yes, I didn't touch anything. So you didn't come of your own accord. <laughs> formal expression, right? Okay, no. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who am I going to ask? Jose Wilfredo has been too quiet lately. Jose Wilfredo. Hello. What are some reasons uh, why privacy is important for you? Uh, maybe to study <laughs> on those times. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's see, uh, Roxana. What are some reasons why privacy is important? For you? Well, uh, I think that we have a lot of uh, personal stuff, and we need all 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 people need to have a, a specific time and place to spend time in their personal stuff and. I don't know, something like that. Maybe when you have kids, you don't have a lot of uh, time or places, personal places, and always you need to do it. Okay, thank you. Let's see, uh, Mr. Rivas, what's this mean? Yes. To what extent do public officials have a right to privacy from your point of view? Of course. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Okay, I, I think that is like better to read the details about those kind of uh, like websites. So as if we are talking about websites or some specific uh, sitios web, the same, right? Website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no, so I think that we have to like read those kind of information in order to post. Like, I, I don't feel like secure to provide my personal information Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Heidi, to what extent do public officials have a right to privacy from your point of view? And we were talking that as 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 soon as it as it doesn't has to see with our information about taxes, it can be private, but since it's, it's, sensitive, it's very, sensitive information. Uh -huh. Exactly. I mean, their okay. private life is, is their private life, but uh, as soon as, as that information doesn't have to see with 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 the, the I think that, that is important to us, not important, but that has to see with us. Related to their position. Exactly. I got you. Well, I actually, I like your point of view, you know, quite interesting. Thank you guys. It was a very interesting night, I guess. I hope it was as interesting for you as it was for me. Uh, the topics were uh, chosen so you could like not just talk because today was not talking. It was not uh, focused just on speaking. It was focused on discussing, which is a little bit different because uh, this was not just asking an answer, not giving a straight out answers. This was about constructing and expressing personal points of view. And this, this is a different level of communication when you discuss. If you notice uh, when you were doing the exercises, it was a little bit more demanding of yourself because as I tell you, as I told you, you were not just giving straight out answers. 
you were doing something a little bit more difficult, which was expressing yourself, giving your own personal opinions. And you did very well from my point of view and according to the notes I was taking, uh, it was quite interesting. Let me get the final attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. And Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Uh, Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancilla. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Juliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Thank you, Francisco. Eh, María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. And Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Irene, please give me a second at the end. Hey guys, thank you very much. I hope you have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. For your time, teacher. Thank you. Thanks to you. Good night. Oops. Let me slay my. Slay my bone. Good evening. Can you hear me? Ramon. Hello, Ramon. Well, I guess everybody left me, so we are going to give a few minutes. Perhaps one of them comes back.
Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care.